The captain just called me Pathfinder. This is really happening. Just take a deep breath. I still can't believe Dad's dead. This should have been his moment. But now it's yours. You just need to decide what you're gonna do with it. Where do I start? I'm just not sure I'm ready. We weren't ready to fall out of the sky on Habitat 7. But we survived that. Right. So, always keep a jump jet handy. Got it. Man, what I wouldn't give for mashed potatoes either, but we're back! And the graphics quality is shit somehow. Why am I getting frame drops? Okay, give me one second, guys. Okay, why is this all fucking laggy still? Uh, bitch, don't interrupt me. Okay, so you're gonna see... You're gonna see a lot of, like, frame drops and everything, so if you do, I apologize in advance. There's nothing much I can do about that. Playing this on an RTX 2060, I don't know why it's doing this. All right, let's go to this dumb thing we we're gonna do. So the last time we entered here, by the way, sorry for this. It'll be nice to see some friendly faces this time. The Nexus runs a support crew, just enough to finish building the station and provide safe harbor for the Arcs. Means we can start waking our people up. They built a bar, right? Gotta have champagne for the welcome party. You're expecting one? After what we've been through, I could use a buzz. We all could. Yeah. Rough ride so far. We'll bounce back. Real food and a shower are just ahead. Or is it? I don't know. I, I barely remember this game as it is. So yeah, I don't know. Okay, you know what? I, I want to give this guys give this to you guys in a better quality. So give me just one more second, please. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm back and everything should be normal now. Everything should be running normal. My god. Is that the game just loading in? We're still not good. Why is it? Okay, that should be fine. It's just. Hopefully, that was just the game loading up for the first time. Uh, I don't see any champagne. Where is everybody? It's dark. Hello? Oh, no. <laughs> well, this can't be right. It's like everything's on standby. If it's a surprise party, they're doing an awfully good job of it. <laughs> Hello, Avina. Welcome to the Nexus, gateway to Andromeda. I'm Avina, a virtual intelligence designed to assist you with immigration. Uh, can you tell us where the welcome party is hiding? I'm sorry, my code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Please select from the following pre-programmed responses. Boy, for an advanced visual interface... And you can't even just basically interact with us normally? God, Sam has your ass beat, lady. Uh... Immigration. How does the immigration process work? We ask that you submit to a brief medical exam to ensure your health and well-being after making such a long journey. Once you've been cleared, our colonization experts will assist you in finding your new home. Please be mindful of the queue. Thousands of eager colonists like you are waiting to begin their new life in Andromeda. Uh, where? Place is deserted. Uh... Gee, really, Liam? I didn't really think that far in this whole situation. Uh, clearly the lights are turned off, there's no way fucking air. I wonder if you guys heard that. Sorry, it's storming outside, apparently. What can you talk tell about, me the about the Andromeda galaxy. galaxy? Here in Andromeda, you are over two million light years away from the Milky Way galaxy. This is the furthest any life form has ever traveled outside our home system, making you a brave pioneer indeed. The Nexus itself is located in a region known as the Helios Cluster. Here, you and thousands of your fellow colonists will fulfill your dreams of settling a new home. Fortune awaits. Uh, living arrangements. What about those? Where do colonists live? Once you've cleared immigration, our helpful staff will assist you in choosing the home world of your dreams. Will it be the tropical paradise of Habitat 7? The gentle rolling hills of Habitat 3? Or perhaps the mysterious twilight world of Habitat 5? Whichever you choose, rest assured our Pathfinders have carefully vetted all colony worlds to ensure your security and prosperity. Oh boy. Habitat 7. That's where we landed. She's way out of date. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. 
Yeah, because clearly this, this fucking place is a paradise. For fucking Habitat 7. Yeah, no, fuck off. She needs to be updated. Let's talk about the Nexus. What is the Nexus? The mod manager. The Nexus serves it's joking. as a central hub for the Andromeda Initiative's colonization efforts. It is the first destination for all colonists upon their arrival in the new galaxy. Please enjoy the many venues the Nexus has to offer. As the station expands, it will one day serve as the seat of government for Milky Way colonists. Providing a safe, stable, and prosperous environment is our primary goal. Not from the looks of it. All right, now time for the big question. What's the current year? What year is it? The current year is 2819. After spending over 600 years in stasis, it's normal to feel disoriented or confused upon arrival. Our helpful medical staff can assist with any physical or psychological after effects you may be experiencing. Well, she's got the date right, at least. So where is everyone? She's got the date right because she's on a fucking time clock in her system. No dur, Cora. Sheesh. All right, logging off. That's all. It has been my pleasure. Please see one of our helpful immigration staff for further assistance. And welcome to your new home in Andromeda, where the brightest star is you. Current wait time for immigration processing is... Unknown error. <laughs> right. That was helpful. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck did you two just do? It's like they didn't finish building it. What the fuck? Could you guys, like, stop freaking the fuck around for, like, two seconds? Sorry if you guys hear rumbling, too. I am actually recording this in the middle of a uh, wintry rainstorm where I live. Oh. Maybe he's got champagne. Uh, what? Let's Le talk to that worker. I will in a second, Cora. I just want to ask if uh, fucking Liam is okay in the head. Why don't we just ask that guy? I don't know. Yeah, ask that guy for champagne. Hey, dude, do you have champagne? My dumbass friend here wants to know if you do. Hi there. We're from Ark Hyperion and wondering where everybody went. Did he hear you? Did you say an Ark? Oh, I thought he wasn't able to speak. Uh, is that a problem? This is the Nexus, right? Pretty sure we parked in the right place. And for what it's worth, your VI over there could use an update. Of course, I'm sorry. It's just, we thought you were all dead. What? Or captured, or lost in dark space, or... But you're here. You have no idea how much this means. I don't believe it. Huh? Oh, but uh, Tyrion. I'm Tyrion Candros. I lead our militia on the Nexus. Howdy. I'm Scott Ryder. This is Cora Harper and Liam Costa, part of the Pathfinder team. I'm sorry for the confusion. Our sensors told us an arc had arrived, but Helios is notorious for scrambling equipment. We thought you were just another malfunction. Uh, why is that? But aren't you expecting us? You're the first arc we've seen. After a year of waiting and no sign of the others, we shuttered this area and stopped looking. You've been stranded for a whole year? Longer. I'll fill you in on the way to Op Center. Everything that could go wrong with our plan has. We arrived 14 months ago. Right away, we hit a band of dark energy that knocked us off course. Kinda like us. We're familiar with it. Then you'll know why we call it the Scourge. We lost whole sections of the station. A lot of people died. No power, no food. The chaos went on for months. It finally led to armed rebellion. When order was restored, the insurgents were banished. Exiles, we call them. Are things back to normal? Not even close. But you're here now, so maybe the worst is over. Yeah. Hoping, right? <laughs> uh, let's just go. No word from the other Pathfinders? No word from anyone, period. Any threats from the locals? So far, we've stayed hidden. We're in no shape to deal with an attack. We had a first contact situation on Habitat 7. Whole thing went south. They tried to kill us. That wasn't first contact. We know about them. Those aliens are going to be a real problem. This day just keeps getting better. We're here. You guys go ahead. I'll check out the security situation. You should know our command structure has been fractured. 
Some of us are filling in for leaders who died. Is it true? They said drop everything and report for duty. And no one was expecting an ARC to finally show up. Docking procedures are green across the board. Stand by to merge Hyperion power into the grid. These people are literally operating in the dark. Holy shit. The crew of the Hyperion. Good luck. Yeah, thanks. I'm Jaren Tan, director of the initiative. You have no idea how much your arrival means to us. Uh, it means more to us than you might think, buddy. Not as much as it means to us. We had one hell of a time getting here. Nice to see some friendly faces. Hungry faces. Any supplies you can spare would be appreciated. This is Foster Addison. She oversees colonial affairs. Are you animated at all? Where's the Pathfinder? You're looking at him. You're not Alec Ryder. My father's dead. No shit. He made me his successor. For a Solarian, you're pretty fucking dumb. Alec is dead. Please yeah. understand. The entire initiative is at risk. None of the Golden Worlds panned out. They're a bust. And there's been no word from the other Arcs. What happened to them? Unknown. Our supplies are nearly depleted. Rationing bought us some time, but even that's running out. We need to find more resources. But that takes people. And we can't wake them up. Until they have somewhere to live. A Golden World. Now more than ever. We need a Pathfinder. It now falls to you, Ryder. Are you up to the task? Well, my... I, I, I am, I guess. My father thought so. You don't have a choice. Let's hope so. You know what? No, I have a caring heart here. I am. I may not have been the first choice. But I'm ready for this. Hell yeah, we are. Youthful enthusiasm will only get you so far in Andromeda. That and being one of the That's best no way to shots ever. Guest. Krogan. I'm Nak Morkesh, superintendent of this station. I hope they haven't scared you off already. No. Nope. It's nothing personal, but now isn't the time for on-the-job training. At well, least the Pathfinder here me, seems but, willing you know. to try. We could use a fresh perspective. You've heard my concerns. I'll leave you to it. What the hell? We're all feeling the pressure. Let's have a private word in my office, Ryder. We'll discuss giving you a scout ship. Sweet. I'm happy to work out the details with your associate. Associate? <laughs> Welcome to the Nexus. Wow, what a downgrade for that, Cora. Sorry about that. Uh, thanks for helping. I appreciate it. Thank you for standing up for me there. Mm, hopes in short supply here. What little we can find should have a chance. Ma'am, the Hyperion's core is now online. Let Sweet. me show you something. Show away. An hour ago, that was all dark. But with the power from your ship, you're keeping the lights on. You have my vote. Vote on what? And when the power runs out? You'd best go talk to Director Tan. Make sure that doesn't happen. And don't be shy. Come see me when you have a chance. Wow. Okay, let's go ahead and discuss with uh, Director Tan. All right, actually, no, we got. Let's talk to Addison first. How the hell? All right. What happened? To who? To whom? And your goddamn father. Shit, lady. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything, and right now I just want to know what happened with Alec. Your face or your attitude? You can only change one. He wanted me to be Pathfinder. All that matters is he's... <laughs> That's just so fucking brutal. I'm gonna say that. I don't want to get into it. Things went wrong. And now I'm the one you have to deal with. Alec Ryder wouldn't accept that kind of ultimatum. Damned if I will. We'd never have left home if we... <sighs> Not home... The Milky Way. This is home. This mess. We don't have a lot of options, Ryder. Maybe you'll prove your father right. After 14 months of failed colonization, forgive me if I don't hold my breath. Uh... 
Well, what was your relationship with my dad, considering that you're just being a total bitch to me right now? You called my father Alec. No one does that. A lot of us joined the initiative because of his vision. What he shared of it, anyway. Were you friends? Or... I'm not your new mother, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> All his friends. Best answer he ever. He hated that I didn't use his title. But no one's a pathfinder until they've path found something. Much like a colonial director without colonies. Oh my god, this lady's just... Damn, she's just... So much of it, my god. Uh, the plan for hostiles, what about that? There must be some kind of plan for encountering hostile aliens. We can't have been that naive. We expected life, not an enemy that refuses to talk. They don't attack, they disinfect. We're nothing until we're bacteria. Sorry, 14 months and you stoop to poetry. That's how bad it is. Not sure who started it, uh, but we're calling them Ket. Kandros will know more. Maybe too much. Ket. You don't trust huh? him? I trust him to defend us. I do not trust a rising military influence in a supposedly civilian initiative. We came here to make history, Ryder. Not repeat it. Ugh, oh, goddamn poetry. Well, what's, uh... If you're not a poet, then what's your position here, then? How do you fit into the Nexus leadership? I oversee the actual settlement effort. As the number of outposts is currently less than ideal, my influence is limited. As Tan is quick to remind me. Left a perfectly adequate career as a chief officer. Provincial capital, too. Only a new galaxy could pull me away. And here we are, idling. Do you have any insight into the strange alien tech we now have? There's also the strange technology. Has anyone studied that? We've tried. Not me. The brains in research. They're supposed to know their business. The current excuse? The tech we dug up on Mars was more advanced, but it was plug and go. The tech here thinks different? I don't know. We've mostly avoided it. And from what the Hyperion logs say about Alec, maybe that's good. Lady, you want to at least try to keep fucking eye contact with me? Good lord, I have not... The eye tracing in this. I think people talk about that also. Could be wrong. Um, Failing outposts. You've had no suck, colony yeah. successes in over a year. How many tries is that? Less than you'd think. The scourge, spoiled worlds, exiles, hostiles. We can't just plop down an outpost and expect picket fences. We need the Pathfinder and Sam to scout, evaluate, and inspire. The initiative promised a goal. Andromeda has not cooperated. Really now? Yeah. Beautiful, utopian horseshit. <laughs> Colonies that produce and support each other. The Nexus as Citadel, not headed by Tan, or even me. You mean, led by me then? Or a group of others? Kinda like how the Citadel were anyway. Even though that went to shit pretty quick in Mass Effect 3, but, you know, to each their own. I'll be going. Excuse me, Director Addison. Ryder? It's Pathfinder. Ryder, we're starving here. If we don't get a foundation of outposts to feed the initiative, we might as well be 600 years dead. Alec promised a lot. None of it panned out. That's what you're up against. Why people won't trust you. Why I don't trust you. Prove me wrong. You're mean. All right, let's go and, uh... Let's go talk to Cash. Come on, open door. Open door. Thank you. This is the planet where we landed. Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we found. Ryder. We were discussing your next expedition. Oh, it's about damn time. Good. I was starting to wonder who was in charge around here. Director Addison is entitled to her opinion. And mine overrules ours. Does Jeez. she know that? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. Cool. To that end, the scourge dealt us a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into, the Ket. 
They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here. Eos. How? Oh. You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable. So, how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right. I think I should go check on things. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... Dude, don't play games with me. The way I see it, you need me. If I pull this off, maybe you'll look like the leader you pretend to be. But first, you have to succeed at being the Pathfinder you pretend to be. Touché. Where's my ship? <laughs> They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. Ah. Ow. Something wrong? Ryder, can you see me and Sam on the Hyperion? Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. Oh, fuck. No, I'm fine. Okay, then. What's over here? Oh, this is Kesha's office. Ke Ooh, what's inside? A saw rifle stock. Cool. I will use that. Data pad. Same shit, different day. For posterity, in case the initiative goes belly up. The Nexus is a four-ring circus. Don't know, or don't like how Tan operates. And there's a oh, I'm pretty sure this is just Cash basically just writing out her anger towards everything, like how most Krogans are. Anyway, hello, Cash. How are you today? There you are. Hope the others haven't been giving you a hard time. There's a lot that needs doing. At least with the Hyperion hooked up and feeding us power, my team and I can get more work done. Oh, where's your arc? I noticed there aren't a lot of Krogan around. You haven't spoken to number eight yet, have you? Huh? Number eight? Tan. Ask him why most of my people left. He'll have opinions. Oh, God. I can tell you this much. When the mutiny happened, a deal was made. Mutiny? My clan were supposed to settle matters and, in return, get more say in the initiative. Why do you call Tan eight? Because he was eighth in line to take over the Andromeda Initiative. I like to remind him of that now and then. Keep him humble. What was the Krogan deal with Tan? Did the deal go through? The clan held up their part, but Tan had a meltdown when he found out we wanted more say around here. Then Addison's assistant, Spender, pretended he never made the deal in the first place. It was a mess, but I don't blame my people for walking out. We're done being used. Then why are you still here? With your clan gone, why did you stay? It's complicated. The station and my clan both need me here. Ah, I see. Uh, any Nexus problems? What sort of problems have you seen on the Nexus? Situations gone to shit pretty much sums it up. There's arcs missing. Some idiots tried to mutiny and take over, then more idiots offended my clan, so they left. And to top it all off, the founder of the initiative, Gian Garson, was killed. Damn, really? What happened to Jean Garson? Killed in the Scourge disaster. Her and a bunch of the other leaders. Tan might know more. Any more Nexus problems? And I thought the Hyperion had it bad when we arrived. Anything else? The outposts aren't happening because we don't have resources or people, so Addison's more uptight than ever. And let's not forget how badly the station was damaged on arrival. But that's a detail, according to some. My team and I are repairing what we can. If we don't get material soon, things will go downhill. Fast. Gotcha. Um... Ooh, this is controversial. Let's talk about the Genophage. When we left the Milky Way, the Krogan were still dealing with the Genophage. Right. The Genophage. A little gift to our people from the Solarians thousands of years ago. That sterility virus they infected us with left most of our children stillborn. Only one in a thousand survive. 
Uh, but what about the Solarian involvement? No wonder your people have such a problem with Solarians. Some wounds never heal. Not that my ancestors didn't provoke it. They did try to conquer the galaxy. The Solarians were forced to respond. Exactly. And it's not fair to blame it all on them, either. The Solarians developed the virus, but it was the Turians who deployed it. Good God. I'm hoping that's all in the past. Plenty of blame to go around, but Andromeda is about new beginnings. My people need that more than most. Bingo. What about, what about the, the Krogan here in Andromeda? There's no cure for it. But my clan was starting to show a mutation against the virus. A natural defense. Nice. During the trip to get here, Krogan underwent gene therapies to enhance the mutation while we were in stasis. So you used those 600 years to your advantage. Gave the adaptation more time to develop. Yeah. It's still early, but I think we made a dent. Our scientists say we've improved viability to almost 4%, which is a lot better than what we had. Beyond all the statistics, it means more Krogan children will live. It's the only way my people have a future out here. And unlike some people, I would actually like to see that happen. Uh, what's your job here, actually? What kind of work do you do as superintendent? I was part of the team that originally designed and built this place. I keep the station functional, or as functional as possible, considering. Ah, so you're basically the up. And I now feel sorry for you. All right, I'm done here. Nothing more for now. Try not to die out there. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate it. All right, well, uh, we gotta go to Sam Node on the Hyperion. Uh, what? Are... Oh, hello. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. My arms got the brunt of it. Stuff exploding like this happen often? Back right after the mutiny, we had a lot of this happening. But not lately. I wasn't there during the mutiny. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. That maybe I was just being paranoid. Why paranoid? What is there to be paranoid about? We've had three malfunctions in the past week. That's not good. Sorry, understatement. Yeah. And now I have more repairs. Did you repair did you report this? Did you talk to security about this? How can I? For all I know, someone in security is the one doing this. What? I've scanned all the potential sabotage areas I can think of. But I don't know who to trust anymore. Sounds like a lot went down before the Hyperion docked. Yeah, I guess. Wait. That's it. You can't possibly be involved in this. You weren't even here during the mutiny. Would you, if, if you have time? Maybe you could help me. If they start hitting critical systems. Sure. Sure thing. What can I do? If you could scan these other panels while I fix this one, that'd really help. I've sent the locations to your Omni tool. Just send me the data when you're done. Uh, I will do that when I get back. Uh, but first, there's a shop over here. Ooh, an arms merchant. What do we got over here? This is going to be a rather long episode, so just bear with me on it. I have no credits. <laughs> that Crusader looks nice, though. I would love that. So that Falcon, too. Upgraded Omni Blade, a katana. I kind of want a shotgun in this. I want to do a shotgun run. I love shotguns in, in Mass Effect games. They are deadly as fuck. Hi, Akora. How you doing? Hey there. You okay? Those guys really grilled you. Yeah, I'm fine. And Addison. First Pathfinder they've seen in over a year. All she can do is question your competence. She wasn't my favorite. <laughs> Yes. Which one was Addison again? All politicians look the same to me. <laughs> same here. Next time we'll ask for a seating chart. I worked out logistics with Director Tan. They're giving us a ship and crew. He said their best is taking care of it. I still need to head back to the Ark and check in with Sam. Sounds good. While you're there, maybe see how your sister's doing. Wow, even that joke from even Ryder himself. Eesh. All right, let's go check out with Sam. Oh, I guess we're here. Wait, what? No, that's... What? Why the fuck did you have me face that way? Fucking dumb game. God. All right, let's go. Hello, Sam. How are you? Hello, Scott. Welcome back to Sam Nude. 
I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Cool. Thanks. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential. You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. Why the secrecy? I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's... me, now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique, tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. Secrecy... Th this is the same exact answer. This is the same answer. This makes no sense. Fuck it. It's, it could scare people. I can understand. People might get the wrong idea. Super soldiers. A computer having control over a human. Providing an enhancement to the human. It is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both. What do you get out of it? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI. So what's different? I am a new form of AI, drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. But... you're... <laughs> will it hurt? But you're just a computer, though. How do human experiences affect a computer? This was a question your father often pondered. I am intended to be the answer. Sounds like we both are. What does this mean for us? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. Weird. <sighs> and Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. Cool. So we got these uh, other profiles here. Which I've already picked the engineer profile because that's me. He already had that on too before he died. So skills. When it comes to having skills, you can have literally any and all skills you want in this game. Mass Effect Andromeda, in my opinion, is what probably advanced combat in the entire Mass Effect uh, franchise. Because you're not just pinned down to one class after another, you know, and that and that's just great. You're not like you're not a soldier. You're not a you're not an engineer. You're not an adept. You know, using biotic skills. You're not. You, you can combine all of those together. So first off, hmm, an omni grenade. That might be pretty cool. Uh, let's look about biotics. Pole. We got pole throw. We got Nova. Kind of want Nova. Backlash. Generates a frontal biotic Aegis barrier. Oh, that's what it is. Lance. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give you Lance. Or, well, no. you know, No. Uh, mm, Nova. Yeah, you know what? Give me Lance. I, I will I will get Lance. Yeah, I want Incinerate instead. And then we'll sign it. Oh, wait, yeah, we already signed it. And from an exit. And then give me some combat. Let's give me some more assault rifle buff, and then... Wait, no, 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 Wait, I want a combat one. Um, is there, like, tech armor I could wear? Cryo beam, energy drain, flamethrower, invasion. Hmm. It's not tactical cloak. not overload either. Fuck it. Yeah, give me the barricade. Why not? Right, yeah, alright. Alright, so we got a good thing. Um, as for my squad mates, I'm just gonna auto-level them up. Because honestly, I honestly don't care about them. But yeah, you can literally have all of these three basic chain skills you want. You can mix and match. You can play however you want. That's what I freaking love about it. But yeah, that's basically the basics on that. Oh my god. Sorry again for the late, you know, episode on here. I'm trying to keep consecutive with this sort of stuff, but... Again... I'm only you. After all, I'm only human, after all. 
and I need breaks, okay? I just do. We all do. So please, guys, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. And you know what? I'm gonna say it. Most importantly, stay the fuck home.